hot topics. Leading edge techniques and tackle designed to put more fish in your boat. Brought to you by Johnsonville. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we just finished one heck of a cold day and a good day of fishing on the water. All day long I've been thinking about these nice, hot, juicy brats. In fact, that leads us to the Johnsonville Brats Hot Topic of the Week. We're going to cut to Keith Cavias, and he's going to talk about the use of fluorocarbon leaders for muskies and pike. A lot of people don't realize it, but you know, before I started walleye fishing, in fact, for most of the start of my life, I did a lot of pike fishing. And ever since I can remember, uh, the main material we used for leaders was some kind of wire, you know, whether it was seven strand or straight wire or whatever. And that is, of course, a great thing to use for a leader, but a little concern comes into play when you're fishing clear water. Uh, same thing when I'm out walleye fishing, you know, I get a little concerned that the fish can see the line. And so one of the trends now in pike fishing is to go to fluorocarbon leaders for pike fishing. Now the key thing on this is, is that you want to make sure you use a heavy enough fluorocarbon to make sure it can take up the shock of the hook set. For example, uh, if you're going after big pike and you're using Pete Maine as uh, you know, signature rods, good and stiff rods, and you're going to set that hook, you're going to want to be using a 100 pound fluorocarbon. Now let me real quickly show you a knot that we use to actually tie up the fluorocarbon. It's called a canoe man knot. What you do is put your tag through your loop, through your swivel or snap, make one backwards loop, a second backwards loop, take that second one, put it through the front of the first one, and then take your tag and run it through that second loop. Then you just pull this tight. This is a great knot for both your snap side and your swivel side. Now if you're casting this, you're going to use about a 12 inch a leader. If you wanted to use this for trolling, you could go all the way out to four feet or so. So this is a great knot for these leaders. What's interesting is Pete and I actually found this knot out on the forums on the Next Bite website. So it's a great place to find a new knot that's really strong for pikefish.